The Nickelodeon documentary is certainly shocking the industry with its revelations and guess who has come up with a twist to the tale? Josh Peck, one of Nickelodeon's stars, is standing up for Dan Schneider, a big name in Nickelodeon history. Will this reveal further secrets? Come join us as we look into this and see what unfolds. As allegations and whispers swirl in the wake of a revealing Nickelodeon documentary, one unexpected voice rises to defend him, none other than Josh Peck. But why is Peck stepping forward to support Schneider, and what does it mean for the broader conversation about the industry's past and future? Let's rewind a bit. You've probably heard of Drake Bell, the former child star who graced our screens in shows like The Amanda Show and Drake and Josh. Well, he recently made headlines for something other than his acting chops. In a courageous move, Bell spoke up about a dark chapter from his past, one that began when he was just 15 years old. This shocking revelation comes to light in a new documentary series called Quiet One, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Now, you might be wondering about Bell's co-star, Josh Peck. After all, they shared the screen and Drake and Josh. Well, it turns out Peck's perspective on these matters surfaced unexpectedly. But before we dive into that, let's unpack what Bell disclosed. In the documentary, Bell reveals a troubling experience he faced at the hands of Brian Peck, a dialogue coach on Nickelodeon shows. Peck's involvement in Bell's story raises questions, especially given his own legal troubles back in 2003. This revelation adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, leaving viewers pondering Peck's stance on the matter. Bell tells about his friendship with Peck and how it turned bad. Peck did bad things to Bell when he was young, but Bell didn't tell anyone because he was scared. Peck made Bell keep coming to him even when Bell didn't want to go. Other kids at Nickelodeon also trusted Peck, even though he was strange, but he hurt them too. Bell's story shows how Peck's actions hurt many people. The show also talks about how Nickelodeon didn't stop Peck. Even after he was in trouble, Nickelodeon didn't do much to help. This makes people wonder why Nickelodeon let bad things happen. Quiet on set, the dark side of kids' TV shows how bad things can happen even in places where we think we're safe. It makes us think about how to keep kids safe in the future. Interestingly, Peck's side of the story emerged in an unexpected manner. It all unfolded during a clash between him and Jeanette McCurdy, another Nickelodeon alum. Their discord shed light on personal dynamics within the industry, offering a glimpse into the complexities at play behind the scenes. But what exactly is Quiet Want It and why is it causing such a stir? Produced by Maxine Productions and Sony Pictures Television in collaboration with Business Insider, this documentary series delves into the darker aspects of popular children's TV shows, particularly those created by Dan Schneider. You might recognize his name from shows like Victorious and iCarly. Schneider's legacy, once celebrated, now stands tainted by allegations of misconduct. The documentary aims to uncover the truth behind the whispers and rumors that have long haunted the halls of Nickelodeon. Through exclusive interviews with former child stars and crew members, Quiet Wynette pulls back the curtain, revealing a side of the industry few have seen before. But Nickelodeon isn't staying silent on the matter. In response to Bell's disclosure, the network expressed dismay and offered support to the actor. Their statement underscores the importance of creating a safe and professional environment for all involved in the production of their shows. As the conversation unfolds, more pieces of the puzzle come to light. Resurfaced footage featuring a young Leonardo DiCaprio adds another layer to the narrative. The video, once thought innocent, now prompts a re-evaluation of past events and sparks broader discussions about the treatment of young actors in Hollywood. In the documentary series, they aired old clips showing both Peck and DiCaprio during their time on the set of Growing Pains, a popular TV show that ran from 1985 to 1992. While Peck had various small roles throughout the series, DiCaprio's involvement came during the show's final season when he portrayed a homeless teenager. This archival footage provides a glimpse into their interactions and presence on the set during that period. In the wake of these revelations, there's a growing call for accountability and change within the entertainment industry. It's not just about addressing the misconduct of individuals, it's about fostering a culture of respect and safety for all involved. Only then can we ensure that the bright lights of Hollywood shine on a stage where everyone feels valued and protected. So, what's next for Drake Bell and the stars of children's TV? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the conversation has only just begun. What are your thoughts on this? Leave your comments below and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more.